is the title I should say because you have a cupid that's uh, shot with its own arrow and it's dying it's either bleeding out or dying on the front cover right there turn it around uh, it's pretty cool he has the uh, track listing in, in, in a uh, paragraph or a poetic form so all the tracks are <clears throat> laid out as you can see, whatever's crossed out on the back is a track uh, name. Let's open it up. Here's the artwork on the inside. Let me turn this CD around real quick. Right here you got the uh, silhouette of, of the dead Cupid or dead angel right there. Take the CD out. You have the thank yous right there and the insert. Open it up. You have a close up of the dead Cupid and you have production credits in there. Speaking of which, let's jump into production on here. You have eight bars, Parks, Lewis Bell, Dark Knight and Chigs, Boy Wonder and Vinyls, Arab, Arab Music, Karen Graham, Taiwan Mr. Fingers Green, and yeah, so it repeats. You have 11, well, 12 tracks. The last track is a bonus track. Uh, and I'll talk about production uh, and the pros and cons. Features on this bitch. Very thin, which I like. You have Marsha Ambrosius, Jada Kiss, Eric. Bellinger, Yummy Bingham, Felicia Temple, and uh, Imani, who is a um, frequent Joe Budden collaborator. <clears throat> Pros and cons. Pros. Production on here is 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 light but it fits Joe Budden's uh, style very much. Uh, he, Joe Budden is, I've said this before in previous reviews, I, I believe he is one of the types of rappers that he can write about life in such a way that um, 
and can't be rivaled only by a few MCs. Slug from Atmosphere is one of them that could uh, rival him, I believe. Um, but I believe you could throw Joe Budden in, in, in a bathroom, have him take a shit, and he could take a toilet paper and wipe his ass with it, and out will come a... Um, on that toilet paper will be a, a poem broken down about life and 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 the the um, retarded shit that you uh, you go through, um, good or bad, and um, he's just he's just so intricate with it, man. That, that's why I love this guy. There's there's very few that can uh, touch him. Like I said, when it comes to that, so needless to say that this is. Uh, content driven on that tip shit like on this on this album shit like slaughter mouse is a great track that i fucking love that track um slaughter mouse uh that's a play on on words because you know his his group is slaughterhouse and um shout out to my girl dorinda for letting me know because uh she's from jersey city and she she uh knew joe budden i guess back in the day or whatever when when he was going by the nickname mouse and um i guess that's a play on on words and shit and that track is probably one of my favorite tracks on here um <clears throat> where he's talking about um giving praise to eminem because eminem is the one who basically who, who signed Slaughterhouse as a group and um, he's given uh, love to his brothers in Slaughterhouse as well um, <clears throat> other tracks on here uh, I love like uh, Love I'm Good that, that probably is one of my favorite tracks because that describes me um, basically like the title implies if this is what love is I'm good like I don't need it and um, y'all know from my rants how I feel about certain uh, uh, situations when it comes down to quote unquote love and um, you know I, I, I don't want to go too deep into this I, I really want y'all to go out and get this or at least listen to some of these tracks uh, the bonus track only human when I was doing a little bit of research on this um, I believe that was on uh, Some Love Lost. That was a track that was on there. I think that was, um, that might have been a digital download, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I didn't I didn't hear it. Uh, and I haven't seen it in, in its physical form. I do have No Love Lost, but um, <clears throat> I, I don't have that. So if there is a physical form, someone let me know. And um, Khan's not really too much to complain about um i wish it could have uh well no i i can't say i wish it could have been longer because a lot of these tracks he goes on and on and on rhyming rhyming uh for you know sometimes five six minutes and uh, oh the jada kiss feature fucking ill man i'm glad he got jada kiss as the only real rap feature on here everybody else was like um was singing hooks or whatever so um my rating of this album right here i would give it an eight to nine i i I really enjoy joe budden's music um i think this is a great way to end the uh love lost series oh another thing that i that really stuck with me on this album is 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 how honest he is i mean i guess it correlates with what i said about him talking about life but um I also love how honest he is when um, he's on that Slaughter Mouse track and he's talking to his brothers in Slaughterhouse and he says, yo, I'm not really sick with that, with that syllable shit, but I, I, I just like to grab the pen and and, and, and make it bleed. Um, basically saying he's not he's not really um, one of, uh, like on a multi-syllable wordplay tip, but basically he's very fucking poetic and that's what sets him apart from the rest of them um but yeah check out the track uh i mean the track the fucking album very proud to have this shout out my nigga joe budden um keep dropping hot shit like this i'm a big fan of this guys pick it up
everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Support dope shit, and that's it, right? Peace, bitches.